Look at my SVS, this Nigerian News Center. We are looking at the reasons the Igbos, the Biafrans, often refuse to join the armed forces. With me to do justice to this is Mr. Kokondem. Mr. Kokondem, we understand that um, even IPOB have uh, warned the Igbos not to join the armed forces, but before the warning, it's like the attitude of the, the Igbos in joining the armed forces is to cut for worry to the Nigerian government. Um, you see, I am Mr. Paradeli Okokonde in this Republic of Biafra. Live a massive Namde Kalo and use IPOB government of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live Mazin Salmon Epa. Long live Finland and Finland people that accommodate Salmon Epa and other true Biafrans. Long live our fans all over the world. May God bless every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, I'm a man who likes to say the facts. Not the fact only, but we like to say the truth. Because truth is higher than fact. Fact is when we want to pick a point to win a case. Now, really, right from onset, the Igbos call us south, 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 east. Call us Biafra. We don't normally like to join army. Anything armed forces. And if you watch, any of us that join the armed forces must surely enter with thread. Not that you're a teacher, not that you're a lawyer, not that you're an engineer, not that you're something, uh, something in case anytime you leave the armed forces, you retire, you lay hand on that thing that you're thread, take it to be living life, a certain life in your life. But there was a time when we dominated the hierarchy in Nigerian armed forces, immediately between left. Nigeria have 50 senior army officers, which South, South, South East took 38. I think took 30. They took 30. The West Yorubas took 12. Then the North took 8. When I say 30, the whole South, South, and South East, we are under that 30. They call all of us Igbo. Then, North took eight, West took twelve. In the Nigeria senior hierarchy, in army officer. So coming to the population of Nigerian army, census of Nigerian army per head, not to dominate in one thousand percent. Now let us look at the reason the Igbos are reluctant in joining the armed forces. I, I'm telling you that this is where it originated. Then after the after the after Uzobu, after Uzobu revolution and the Rose hijacked and the Soviet revolution, not to come, not to come and do their own northern coup. Their France or the Easterners lost completely, not only by senior officers or uh, uh, the head in Nigerian armed forces. But one thing is this, after the war, although nation we don't like to join, after the war, the West and the North, Ariwa and the Duduwa, hold the meeting that they never allow Igbo man to come to armed forces again. Because the performance of Igbos, their friends, not Igbos, their friends, in the African war, surprised the whole world, even the ten. But we are looking at why, on their own, they refuse to join. Uh, this is where I'm coming. Now Nigeria is coming to beg us to join. Why don't they beg us after the war to join? You know, they hold the meeting. They never um, uh, 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 recruit their friends again. After the war. Because no, you cannot prove that. I can prove that. I can prove that I myself. I can personally happen to me. I want to join a gender and refuse. They will never take you in Nigeria Defense Academy as far as you come from Biafra. Only South South, only South East. They said that our performances during the war surprise even Britain because they said we are packer, packer uh, 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 soldiers. The few people are in the Nigerian army are packer soldiers. They, they, are, they are not combatants, they don't know how to handle gun. But it was surprised to them that uh, militias, militias shoot more than 10 
regular soldiers. So they know the meeting that they should not take us because, because if they take us, it will be war. It will be worse. If mostly in force, they said they said no. Do you know that I, Mr. Farah, the new Oko Kondem, want to join Nigeria in 1982? We, have a, we shall have a conversation on that. Let no, us finish. You are asking me what they have proved it. No, I said we, we, have, we are going to have an exclusive conversation on that. But let us conclude this one first. Okay. Now, now they start calling uh, uh, their friends to come and join the army. Now, is it now the leaders? Is it now the leaders? Go and check since 1970 war ended. Check the role of Nigerian army. Check how many they have been taken from Biafra and how many they are taken from other, other regions. I believe it's always, always on quota system. Okay, quota system. Go and start the quota system. Go and start the quota system immediately after the war. When they say quota system, before they will say they need the 20,000 recruits. Men to recruit out of that 20,000, they will publish it though. Before, before they publish it, men to don't recruit 16 to 20,000 by themselves internally and fix before they come and make it generally that they want to recruit 20,000 personnel in the army, personnel in the army out of that to 20,000, not we take again 10,000, then west we take seven or eight thousand. They lift a three or two thousand for the Easterners. So, so all I'm saying is that marginalization is the reason the Igbos lose interest in joining Nigerian army. Not only marginalization. Now they, but, okay, think of it. They came now and start begging us, calling us to come and join Nigerian army. Don't you know that say on that team a little agenda there? This is why whether IPOB, DOS. Whether IPOB autopilot, I agree with any of them that say we should not join. Is now now it's not when Nigeria needs us. Nigeria we need Igbo man. Nigeria we need their friends when they want to use us to solve their problem. No, I don't think it's a case of anybody begging anybody. I think it's a case of when there is a quota system, when there is a recruitment exercise, each region, each state need to fill their quota. Maybe perhaps. The Igbos are not filling their quotas that arose the war resource situation. Quotas, how many number in that quotas they give us? I'm not privy to the quota, but I understand that the Igbos are reluctant to join the armed forces. We are not reluctant, but they, they, they reject us. They reject us. At least after the war, Igbos have nothing to do. Most of the Igbos have nothing to do. They want to join Nigerian army. They refuse. Even the Igbos that um, we are, the different that we are in Nigerian army. They want the war started. They, 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 for their for, for their love's sake, they run back to Biafra and join Biafran army. When they return back to Nigeria, they refuse to take them. And the ones they take, all of them end up in WO2. Highest. The ones they take, all of them end up in WO2. That is your major, sir, your major. That's why that, that's, that's they, they end up. The ones they did not take, they go back home. No compensation. Until yesterday, when Buhari enter, I said, I will pay you compensation. They drove them away. Now you want us to come and join. So it means we already tried, have you? What did they try? This is what I'm telling you. You take it to lobby those war veterans, therefore war, war veterans, to do what? To discourage the IPOB, not to struggle for Biafra. Since 1970, until 2015, 2016, 2017, when you hold them down the car, you start to make it to go and lobby them so that they will say, ah, Nigeria is good. Uh, don't fight for Biafra again. That's what he did. That's what he did. Eh? So now they come, they want to call us to recruit us in large number, large quantity, and use us against ourselves as they recruit the users of them and and the um, and, uh, 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 Mayu, former governor of uh, Ebo State. To form a bubagan and use a bubagan against a bubagan. You, you have seen what I'm saying? They form a bubagan and use a bubagan against a bubagan. That's what they want, to, what they want to do. They want to recruit us and use us against ourselves. Because when they, after the training, when they commission them, they will take a, a legend. 
I swear, I play a legend. Top one. Both of our legends. Both of our legends. To, 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 to uphold the integrity of Nigeria. To defend Nigeria with my last blood. When they do the finish, they go share them into one to east, one to north. They will send them to the tough area in the north. They will kill them. They will put them off finish. They will send them to east. They begin to kill. We will begin to kill ourselves. Biafra defense force and Biafra Nigerian army. We begin to kill ourselves. That's what they are planning. That's what my people say. Don't join. I said that's what they said. Don't join. This time around. This time around. That's what they said, don't join. And they're begging my people not to join. Anybody that joins the Nigerian army and they send him down to Biafra to go and kill Biafra, we will not spread that one. We know him as a Nigeria. Mr. Kogome, I must say very thank you for your time. This is the Nigerian center. We shall be moving to another area.